Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I'm going to show you how to do the uh, the female side of the garden hose threads. In a future episode, we will take a look at doing the male side. Um, I'm going to be doing the female side first because that is going to be the most common. Is um, if you want to 3D print something that you're going to connect to a garden hose, like your own little hand wand sprinkler or whatever thing that you would like to make. But uh, like I said in the future, maybe you wanted to make a garden hose coupler or something, I will be showing how to do the male threads. So, all right. So uh, I've got uh, DS Mechanical opened up. Um, this is also the same procedure if you're using Space Claim. Space Claim is just a paid version. I do believe is the only difference between DS and Space Claim. I think they have pretty much all the same features. All right, so I'm going to go up to File, New, Design, <coughs> and it opens this up with the plane, so I'll go to Plane View, then we want to click on Circle, and I'm going to make a circle, and I want the circle to be 24.5 millimeters. Then I'm going to do another circle, and uh, we want that to be 32 millimeters. Now these dimensions are just the minimum you want from inside to outside. Once I show you how to do the threads, um, what we'll do at the end is I'll take those threads and I'll show you how to make an end cap for a garden hose by making the one end capped off. And then we'll also use the polygon tool here. So it looks like a nut on the outside. But first we'll do the threads and this is the easiest way I found to do it. Is just make an inner circle at 24.5 millimeter and the outer circle at 32 millimeter. Now I came up with all these measurements I'm using here. I found some schematics online on the thread specifications. But being that you're 3D printing and most likely with ABS or PLA, there's gonna be shrinking, expansion, stuff like that. So I did some experimental experimenting with some different figures. And this is what I came out with at screws. I had several different garden hoses and several different garden hose connector in things. And, and I kept going and testing until I came up with these thread specifications that when I printed them out, they fit everything. So, all right, let's get moving on with this. So what we need to do is go to pull next. And now uh, we'll just click on home view, grab a hold of it, hit the space bar. Uh, I'm just gonna make this about 12 millimeters is uh, a long enough thread for a normal garden hose if you need longer. Just make that longer. That's just the length that we're making here. Uh, then, zoom out a little bit. Then we need to go up here and click on our plane. And we want to add a plane right through the middle of it. Then uh, click Escape. Then select the edge of it. And then select this right here, the section mode. That will show us the cross section of it. Then we'll go under our our view here and uh, we want the right hand view there we go now what we're going to do is we're going to design a tool Let me get zoomed in on that section a little better uh, we're going to design a tool and what we're going to do is we're going to use the program it's going to work kind of like a lathe we're going to revolve that cylinder while we pull through a tool that we're going to make here it's just a little triangle and uh, we'll pull it through at a specified pitch, and that's how we're gonna make the threads, and this is really easy to do. So we'll go up and we'll select our line tool. And we're gonna click right here on our edge between that uh, bright green and that darker, like olive green. Click on that, go straight up, and we want 1.125 millimeter. Enter, and go up again, 1.125 millimeter. Enter, and what this does is it gives us a line with a center point. So we can hit escape to get out of there. Now we want to go to that center point, bring that line out to two millimeter, and then off of this, just complete it, making a triangle. And then, oops, click on here. We want to bring this out. I found that if you don't bring this out, past the edge and once you do that we boxed it in here what it'll do is it'll cut the threads but you won't see them it'll be this super thin layer running down the sides that you can't see the threads even though they're there 
And if you printed it, I mean, the printer would, would print the threads fine. But this way we can see it and you know everything's working. So all right, then we're gonna go to our trim tool and just get rid of these lines in there. And there's our little tool that we're gonna be using to cut the threads. All right, so next we're gonna select pull. Oops, then I'm gonna zoom out. Okay, get this towards the center of the screen here as good as I can. Then uh, we wanna just, just uh, left click on that once, then come over and click on the Evolve, and then come in and uh, left click on the middle there so it turns dark blue. Then we wanna come over here, click on Cut, Revolve Helix, come over here to the pitch. Now I already put this number in, you want a pitch of, um, the specifications actually said 2.209, but uh, 2.21 is fine. Actually, I think I did put the 2.209 in there and it just rounded it automatically. So that you want that, put that number in, you click on there, put it in, then hit enter. Then here you want to add a negative number because we're pulling down, not up. So we'll put a negative and um, you want it to be greater than the area you're pulling um, if you want it to pull all the way through. But say maybe you were making a cylinder and you only wanted the threads to go halfway. Then just put the number in here halfway, you know, how far you want it to go. But for this, I want it to go all the way through. So then I had it at 12. So I'm just going to put in a negative 15. Hit enter. Get out of there. I'll hit escape. And now I can turn it. There you go, there are our threads. Look at that, isn't that cool? All right, oops, I actually zoomed in there. So I'm gonna click on that, delete it. We do not need that anymore. Um, actually, that circle we don't need. But, um, well now, um, I think we should go ahead and make an end cap, you know, out of this. So, um, well, the first thing we need to do here then, uh, we need to go to our plane view. We're gonna, um, actually, I want the plane to be, so I don't have to rotate it afterwards because I'm 3D printing this. I want it to be on the bottom because uh, that's how it'll print so I don't have to use supports. Then we'll click on the plane view. Scroll that into view. And uh, let's see, should I make the nut all the way through? I think we... Yeah, I think we will go ahead and do that. So um, here, we'll click on the polygon, go to the center, bring that out right to there. Uh, yeah, I like that. That looks good. And it's a 32 millimeter wrench. Would fit that, I think, I do believe. <laughs> All right, now, uh, let's see here. There's one other thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Getting ahead of myself there. Then I want to do a circle, too, and bring that all the way out. And uh, you'll see here in just a second why we're doing that. But we're going to get um, out of there now. We need to go back to our plane mode. I'm going to bring this up a little. And then I want to click on that circle. And I'm going to hit the space bar while I was holding the click down. And I'm going to make this three millimeters, so the thing all together, well, it was 12 for the threaded section, and it'll, with three, it'll be 15. We'll bring that up. And uh, let's see here, let's make this easy. Okay, I'm gonna hold down the control key and click this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, then I can let go of the control key. Uh, hit pull up two. Click on that, and there we go. We pulled that up, and whoops, I accidentally clicked on that, didn't mean to. All right, now what we want to do is take, uh, make sure I hit escape, then, uh, whoops, go back to the pull tool, click, um, click on that once, then click on the pull up two. We're gonna pull that up to the top. Now, if you left it like an end cap like that, then you just have the the uh, the polygon, the the like nut thread, or not threads, the nut shape, on uh, just that. But if you wanted to, 
And on the ones that I actually made, what I did is I just pulled them all the way through. So now we're looking the other way. I'm going to select control. I mean, I'm going to hold down control. I'm going to select all of these and click on the pull up to, and we'll pull it up to that. And there we go. All right, well, that's all there is to it. We've done the threads. And then we made a end cap out of it. Now, I just did a, uh, a six-sided. Uh, you could go, you know, a 12-sided. Actually, um, I think the first one of these I ever made was 12-sided, and it worked out better. So, all right, with that, um, thanks for joining us here today. If you found this information useful, please give us a thumbs up. I appreciate it very much. So have a great day, and uh, we'll hope to see you here again for another DS Mechanical tutorial.